Hello royal folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean what are you waiting for guys, hit that subscribe button now, also please don't forget to press the bell icon. Princess Louis and Archie, two young members of the royal family, might be permitted to watch only a portion of the coronation to make sure they don't miss out on the full ceremony. Experts suggest that young royals may be given special arrangements to attend King Charles' coronation, scheduled to take place at Westminster Abbey on May 6, 2023. Dr. George Gross, visiting research fellow in theology at King's College London and co-founder of the British Coronations Project with Dr. David J. Crankshaw, revealed that similar provisions were made in the past for those who would not be able to sit through the hours-long ceremony. He cited the example of Winston Churchill's wife, who was given a ticket for the King's box during King George V's coronation in 1911, after having given birth just a month earlier. This allowed her to watch the ceremony until the actual crowning of the King, after which she left discreetly. While Prince William, Kate, and Princess of Wales are confirmed to attend the historic ceremony, it is still unclear whether their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, will join them. Similarly, Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, have also been invited to the service, but it is not confirmed if their children, Prince Archie Harrison and Princess Lilibet Diana, are also on the guest list. Dr. Gross suggested that provisions could be made for the young children of the Sussex and Wales families to leave the ceremony partway through, to accommodate their attention span. However, he added that the television coverage of the ceremony would make it harder to do so. He said that given that Charles and the Queen Elizabeth II had both witnessed a coronation, it was quite likely that Prince George would attend, and a lot of young children of his age would be interested in watching it. The eldest of William and Kate's children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, are expected to attend the coronation. However, it is not clear if Prince Louis, who turns five next month, will be there on May 6. Harry and Meghan's children are younger still. Archie will turn four on the date of the coronation, and Lilibet will be just shy of two. Prince Charles attended his mother's coronation in 1953 when he was four, but Princess Anne didn't attend because she was deemed too young at the age of two. The ceremony itself could last for hours, but Charles is understood to want some parts streamlined. Dr. Gross suggested that the homage part of the ceremony, in which every member of the British nobility pays their respects to the monarch, could be dropped or shortened. The crowning of Camilla, Queen Consort, would also add an extra layer to the ceremony, which did not happen at Elizabeth II's coronation in 1953. Dr. Gross explained that the oath, acclamation, and recognition were integral parts of the ceremony. The congregation is asked if they recognize the monarch as their king or queen, and this part of the ceremony dates back to the Anglo-Saxon period when monarchs were elected by the elate. Monarchs can't be anointed without the congregation's recognition. Therefore, the public's role is crucial in the ceremony. Dr. Gross predicted that Charles' coronation would also be relatively long because of the music, with a lot of it announced. On the possibility of the anointing being televised for the first time, Dr. Gross said it was possible, but would not make a difference to the ceremony's mystery and magic. The coronation is expected to be watched by a lot of people on TV. The final decision on whether to televise the anointing or not will be made a few days before the ceremony. So what do you think about this news, guys? Will Prince Louis attend King Charles's coronation and follow in the footsteps of his elder siblings, George and Charlotte? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that, thank you so much.